Hey guys, my name is Haley, and welcome back to Freeing ERP. Today, we are going to be discussing the newest release of the P21 web client 18.2. This release came out fairly recently, and I wanted to compare this new release to the release that I did three videos on earlier in the year. I'm going to link those videos in the top of the description box below, and I'll link the first one in the cards now because there is still some very relevant and current information within those videos that you might find helpful. So first, let's talk about the biggest news in regards to the web client, which is that they have added wireless warehouse to the P21 web client. I think this is huge and we could see some great potential come from this. And I especially think that in the future, we're gonna see fewer companies using the traditional scan gun and going over to mobile devices like cell phones. Because if you think about it, it's going to be a lot cheaper for a business that has, say, 20 warehouse employees to go out and buy 20 either, you know, cheap cell phones or used iPhones or whatever you want to use then it's going to be for this business to go out and buy 20 scan guns, which are going to run them upwards of $1,500. It's going to be cheaper for you to replace a cell phone than it's going to be for you to replace this scan gun if it were to get broken or lost or stolen or something to that extent. Just think about when you go into the Apple store, all of the Apple employees are either working on an iPad or they're using an iPhone to do their business. I think we can see wireless warehouse being used on a mobile device the same as that. Next, I want to go over these visual changes to P21 because they have made a few tweaks here and there. The biggest one to me and the most prominent one is that they changed how the menu looks. Now, it used to be that the menu was mostly white and when you opened up something, so then say you opened up accounting and then you opened up accounts payable. Now, accounting is going to stay, now the background color of accounting is going to stay white, but then the if you were to open up accounts payable, it would be like a darker gray. They've taken that away. And now they've changed it to all like a dark greenish blue gray color. Back with the older version of the web client, I complained about how the menu looked because I thought it was hard to tell what you were looking at, what you have opened. And now I think it's about 10 times worse because it's all one color. Granted, they do try to make the text bold for what's open. But I don't really see how that's incredibly helpful because if, if you have bad eyesight, you're not even going to be able to tell that it is bold more than likely. So I do wish that Epicor would go ahead and actually do something that makes this more legible. Even if it was just to bump out the tab spacing for the text so that you can really see sort of like how it is on the desktop version. Or if they would bring in some icons or something so that users can more easily see what is open. Another thing that they've done is that they have removed the ability to open a window in this current tab that you are on from the menu, which I find very disappointing. I don't really understand why this feature was removed. I myself used it quite a lot, and now that it's gone, I find I quite easily end up with 10 tabs open because all you can do is put your new windows in a new tab. And if you're a developer or an admin, you know you can easily end up with a lot of stuff open at one time. And to me, especially because it's in something like Google Chrome, Firefox, uh, Microsoft Edge if you're using that, that can start to slow down the browser if you have all of these tabs open. So I don't really get why we had to get rid of that feature, but unfortunately it has been removed. Maybe in the future we will see it brought back, but as of now we no longer have access to that. And to carry on with that theme, since now we can only have new tabs, you also no longer have the ability to clone the home portal. Instead, where that button used to be, you'll see a keyboard now. If you click on that or if you hit Control F1, it's going to open up a pop-up that will, sh that will show you all of the available keyboard shortcuts on whatever window you're on. I'm not going to go too in-depth on that now because in the future I want to make a video on the most common keyboard shortcuts for the web client. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel if you're interested in that so you don't miss out on that video which will be coming out fairly soon. 
Next thing that has been removed is you can no longer view what windows you have open from the menu. They really did a lot of changes with the menu, I'm now realizing, but they did take away that ability. I can't remember exactly, but I believe back with the ability to see what windows you had open, you couldn't even actually do anything with that. I, I definitely remember you couldn't close a window from the menu and perhaps you were able to click on it to go to that window if it was open. But again, now that they've removed the ability to open a new window in the current tab, Having that tab on the menu to see the open windows would have been a bit superfluous because you can't even close anything from that tab in the menu. So I'm kind of neutral on that having been removed, but if that is something that you used a lot, it is now unfortunately gone. And the final thing, this is just a little personal gripe that I'm surprised it hasn't been fixed yet, but I thought it'd be worth mentioning because I did bring it up a few months back when I did my original videos. We have the hyperlinks widget, which I talked about in my widgets video. There's an issue with the hyperlinks widget where when you create the hyperlinks widget and you insert all your links, then you want to perhaps name the widget. You can't do that because it will unfortunately make the links disappear in the widget. It's a really odd bug that again, I'm surprised hasn't been fixed. So you're not going to be able to have multiple hyperlinks widgets with different names. They all are going to have to be called the default name hyperlinks widget until Epicor gets that fixed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or it added any value to your life, please consider liking the video and subscribing to our channel. When you like the video, it helps us know what videos you enjoy seeing and we know what content we need to be making. It also does help out our channel if you subscribe and if you like the video because it will help other people find our channel. If you have any suggestions for future videos or topics you want us to talk about regarding the web client, please leave us a comment down below and let us know. Thank you guys again so much for watching and we will see you next time.